Legends and welcome back to Sporting FM Save. Where we left up last time, we are rolling in the money. 67 million to spend. Uh, and we do need a few positions strengthening that. Because of course we did lose Pedro Gonzalez on the left hand side or the right hand side. We also did lose a centre back as well in uh, Sebastian Coates. And we also, I think, need a left back. Oh no, we bought in left back last time. We bought in, um, where is he? Should be somewhere here. Uh, Sergio Gomez is the left wing back option. Probably maybe another midfielder as well because we have got um we got um this is the retired squad but we have got I guess we just do the best best selection uh, best XR. we have Human de Morita and of course we have Diamonda who's on the African Cup of Nations currently um, apparently Andrew is unavailable as well oh come on Why are you kind to uh, the Brazilian under twenty three is when we need you mate but um is a shame but anyway um so we do need uh, another centre back I think. Uh, for Saint just off the bench because uh, I don't think Neto and Kresma is good enough. Kresma has been very good this season to be fair but I don't think he'll ever become what we need him to be. Uh, in terms of wingers, Correa and Trincao are okay but again Marcus Edwards is the best one by a mile um, and I think so uh, we will do that but without further ado I guess take a look at the schedule as well what we're doing today. Uh, we'll be going to the end of January so we've got three games Estoril, Porto and Rio Ave and of course we've got Estrada on the 2nd of February. In between them, we make some signings, but other than that, we'll get onto it and I'll let you know what comes up. So, here is the team we are playing against with Esther Real. So, annoyingly, Brazil under 23s have taken Andrew and Thiago Kalai. So, it's like, why do you need both of them and why can't I have one of them? So, I've had to go with Israel and go, who's actually coming off a broken wrist. Uh, so, it's getting a bit spicy, but um, other than that, we're going to go with Israel. Uh, I'm going to go with Eduardo Corezma at uh, right wing, uh, the right centre back. St. Just, Inacio, Fresneda, Sergio Gomez, Braganza, Hulman, Correa, Edwards, and Paulinho. Off the bench, got guys like Estevez, Trincal, Mujica, Luis Neto, Jenny Nuno Santos, Lamba, Ribaji. And then on reserve, you've got a few players. Actually, you know what? Your Crazy is, is fit enough. Uh, so I'll put him uh, on the bench. Uh, so that will be fine. And we've got Chico Lamba as the backup centre back. But uh, yeah, other than that, let's get straight into the game. Briganza wins the ball. Correa finds Paulinho. Paulinho will find Fresneda. What can Fresneda do on the wing here? He'll find Angel Correa, who finds Hulman. And Hulman makes it 1-0 to Sporting. Let's go. 90 minutes in. Well, 20 minutes in, pretty much. A goal from Hulman. Great build-up play. 1-0 to the boys. Let's see if we can continue. Great work. Let's carry on. What's Inacio going to do here? Finds Eduardo Corezma. Goes down to Fresneda. Fresneda here. Eduardo Corezma. Danny Briganza. With a great ball to Paulinho. Paulinho's through on goal. He has to do his finish it. Paulinho, the GOAT. Not only does he score for me in the FM saves, but he scores me on my team as well. He is the GOAT. What a ball for Braganza, by the way. You have to put it out there. Come on. What an absolute banging through ball. Look at this from his own half. Left foot, bang, slices it perfectly for Paulinho. And has to be said, a great finish from the Portuguese striker as well. 2-0, a goal right before half-time as well is absolutely sublime. So you love to see it. That is it. 2-0 for the boys. Let's go. We'll just praise them, say you're doing well on the school board. Um, there's a few tired players, but I don't think anyone uh, is probably in need of coming off. Probably the Inacio, Fresnade, and Brigance will be the first to come off. Uh, but other than that, everyone's playing well. So they don't want to change a lot of it. Um, other than that, let's get into the second half. Oh, that's what I said. was a great move. Chico Lamba, Eduardo Corezma, Angel Correa. Boy, <laughs> oh, I feel bad for Angel Correa. I did not score. I want to pass my daughter Cresma as well. But that's 3-0. We are red hot against Esther Real away. Estevez did a great move. What a turn that was. Chico Lamba finds Cresma. What a pass to find Correa. Correa always to slid it home. Hits the post. But Paulinho is there to get the rebound. 3-0. Paulinho with two in this game already. What, what a performance from him, man. Poor performance from the whole team. Played very, very well. Uh, so hopefully that should be the end of this one. Okay, that should have been the end of this one, but apparently we can't defend corners. Israel is caught flat-footed, I suppose. I don't know whose fault that was. Uh, let's take a look. Pavlik is St. Just Man, but Israel is flat-footed. But I uh, guess we could use this time to make some changes, waste some more time. Uh, Jenny can come on for Sergio Gomez, and then we'll bring on uh, Trincao for Ankel Correa, and we'll just waste a bit more time there. But yeah, other than that, let's carry on. There we go, 3-1, great win. Paulinho with two, Hulman with one. Everyone played very well, though. I'm very impressed. Outstretched arms, well done. Great performance, what I'm going to say. 
Uh, well done. It was a very special goal from Paulinho and a great pass from Reganta as well. No one mentions the pass, but it means we get a win. Uh, again, we're pretty far behind Benfica and Porto. But we have got Porto in the League Cup semi-final. Uh, so, been offered a few players. That one is never coming to my club, uh, I will say. Uh, as long as I'm the manager, at least. Um, but yeah, there's not really anyone here that's like, uh, like jumping out on me. So, uh, yeah, I guess we'll carry on. So we've got our first signing of the January window, and that's Diogo Liete from uh, Berlin. It's a player I love in real life, man. He's so, so good. Uh, his stats look okay. We only It's only going to cost us uh, 15.2 million. Uh, it can rise up a bit, I believe. Um, but yeah, 17.5 it can go to. Uh, but 15 million is going to be deducted or trans budget of 57 million. So we'll accept that. And there is our first signing in Diogo Liete. can even play against this... Former club Porto, you see there in the League Cup semi-final. Uh, it does say we broke the record, but obviously Jokic is the record for 22 million, so it doesn't really matter. Um, or it's 24 million, something like that. But Diogo Leite, three star, five star, a uh, three star current potential. Sorry, three star current ability, three and a half star uh, current. But he is a very good player, very good stat wise. We compare him to someone like I don't think Diamond will be the best one, but maybe someone like Saint Just. Uh, Diogo Leite's only the worst thing is is speed. He and and vision, but everything else is pretty much the same. Bare aerial ability, same defending, same mental, same physical, and of course he is what four nearly four years younger than uh, Saint Just. So uh, could be a fair play to Sebastian Kowalski. That's what I wanted to do. What foot is he though? Uh, that's what I wanted to check. He is left footed, so he's pretty much going to play the same position as, as Inacio. But we could train with defender, defender, wide centre back on support. That is what. Uh, I believe that's what Inacio is on, right? Uh, no, it's ball playing centre back. My apologies. Ball playing centre back. Uh, ball playing defender on. Stopper? Another one? No, it's defend. I'm talking nonsense. Ball playing defender on defend. There we go. Got there in the end. Uh, squad registration will register him as well. Confirm selection. Ask uh, Adrian Silva to welcome him. And there we go. Uh, let's see if we can try and get the wage budget up. And there's a reason for this. Um, let's see. Um, unfortunately, the wage budget isn't being moving. There is a player I want to sign, uh, but it's not letting me do it. We've kind of, okay. I'll see if I can f figure it out, but I'll get back to you, hopefully, either the next signing or the next game. So, we're in the League Cup semi-final against Porto. Here is the team. So, we have to play under-21 players. So, Diogo Pinto comes in. Eduardo Cuesma comes in. Diogo Liete comes in for his debut. Inacio, Fresnade, Nuno Santos, Mauricio Hulman, Correa, Edwards, Jokres. Off the bench, Israel Estevez, Adrian Paulinho, Rafa Mujica, Jenny Catamo, Bruni Baji, St. Just, Braganza, Sergio Gomez, Luis Neto, and Trincao. Fortunately, Andrew, excuse me, and Diogo Cala are still unavailable for selection. Uh, as Guy was still injured, the mother still won international duty, so it leaves a few other guys on the reserves. But other than that, let's get into the game. Hopefully, we can win. So here comes the team: Porto, Namasa, Tony Martinez, Mora, Franco, Gruic, Constanzo, Sanchez, Cardoso, Carmo, Wendell, Ramos. Good team. I think ours maybe just edges it a bit. I guess not with the goalkeeper situation. But other than that, I think we can get a result. So let's get into the game. They have scored. It might have been offside, though. Let's take a look. Check goal review. Goal disallowed. I mean, it was a, a quick off a quick goal, so I hope it's not the same. Let's just have a look, see if it was. Yeah, he was offside, but we need to be better on the defensive side. That was poor. Here comes Nuno Santos with the corner. What can we do? Nuno Santos with delivery. It's gone out to Marcus Edwards. Here comes Marcus. Finds Nuno Santos. Delivery. Jokres is there. Jokeres! Let's go. No way he's offside. No, he was on. Surely. Come on. Fick the Jokeres. Let's go. What a cross from Nuno Santos. Good play from Mark Edwards to find him as well. Uh, good pass. Nuno Santos. Nice little delivery. He's miles on side. Jokeres with the header. Claudio Ramos has no chance. Top corner. You love to see it. I don't even know what offside they were complaining about. Was it the Ocres or was it to Nuno Santos? Let's have a look. Tight offside, come on. But yeah, you love to see it. 1-0 to the boys. Fortunately, that is the end of the highlight. And that is the end of the half. 
one nil. We're playing well. I'm going to outstrip staff saying I'm delighted so far. Um, but I am going to make a sub. I'm going to take off uh, Quaresma because I do think it's an important game. We do need our best players there. So Eduardo Quaresma will come off for Jerry St. Just and St. Just will play on the wide centre-back role. Uh, I would love to bring off our goalkeeper, but I don't think it's it's really fair to bring him off. Uh, actually, yes, you can. Fair enough. Israel will come in. Uh, maybe that will come back to bite us in the arse, but I feel like that is the two subs we're going to make. Other than that, let's get into the game. Nuno Santos gets the ball. Hulmund, Diego Leite, Israel, St. Just. Finds Correa, St. Just again. Here comes Jeremiah St. Just on the ball. Angel Correa with a great pass to Fresneda. Still Fresneda here. Fresneda finds the Correct! Not again. Come on. Please tell me this is onside. Oh, please. Come on. This can't be offside. Let's go. What a play by Correa here. St. Just obviously makes the great run. But watch this from Correa. Nice little pass. Fresneda with a great run as well. Yokoris holds his run. But Fresneda with a great pass. Pussy plus Cardio Ramos. And it's 2-0 to Sporting. Let's go. What a game we're having. Let's check the offside. How far off was it? Luckily, the, the left back there keeps him on. But Yokoris, man, what a finish. 2-0. Let's go. Fresneda. Morita. Great cross to Edwards. <laughs> Marcus Edwards just scored a header. You know how crazy that is, Marcus Edwards scoring a header. But uh, love that. 3-0. We're absolutely cruising. We're dominating now. No chance to get back into it. Obviously, favours us with a knock on wood. But what a pass. Morita, St. Just, back to Fresneda, who finds Morita again. Morita, the great cross to find Edwards. And Edwards winning a header. Absolutely crazy. 3-0. Let's go, boys. Back to Franco Israel, who finds Inacio. What can Inacio do here? He's got loads of time. Inacio finds Hjorman. Morita finds Edwards. Can we get another? Jokres is in the box. Edwards will go all the way, though, and that is four against Porto. Four goals. What an absolute turnaround this game has been, you know. Like, obviously, we weren't losing at any point, but being Porto 4-0 at the drag out. I think it's at the drag out. It could be a new trip by new, to be fair. But like we are absolutely smacking them around. They don't even look like they're in the same league as us, man. What finish from Edwards. What quality. 4-0. Gotta praise the boys after that. Well done, man. Can we get one more? Go on, Edwards. Oh, your quest was through on goal, but 4-0 spanking of FC Club de Porto is brilliant. Two goals from Edwards. Two goals from Jokerez. Uh, an assist from Marita. Nuno Santos getting an assist on the first goal. Fresneda on the second. Morita on the third. Morita on the fourth. What an absolute phenomenal game. Um, incredible win against our rivals too. Major upset. Why not? We'll do that. Uh, what a performance. 4-0. Leite comes back and makes his great uh, great return, I suppose, beating his former club. Uh, Diamande also played on a 6.6 .6 for Ivory Coast. They did beat uh, Morocco, which is fair enough. Um, but yeah, what an absolute performance. I, can't, I still can't believe it. I'm in shock. 4-0. Um, who are we playing in the final? Do we know? I don't think we know yet. Uh, but Leite makes his return, which is great. Um, did he go to Braga on a permanent, or was it a loan that he went to Braga on? He went on a loan. And then they sold him to uh, Union Berlin, which is fine. Uh, praise Morita. He was superb with a number of quality of chances. Um, Mor everyone's scoring. Alfonso Moreira scores for, for uh, Laval MFC. Uh, Bordeaux put in a, I mean, Estugo put in a good performance for Bordeaux, but, you know, things you'll have to see. So, League Cup, semi League Cup finals against Benfica. Obviously, we got smacked by them last time, so there's a chance to uh, get back. But, of course, we're still without Andrew. We're still without Diogo Colai, Diamonde, Esgaio. So, there's still loads of players that we're not with or that aren't with us, unfortunately. So, um, got to keep an eye on it. And right before... One of the biggest games of the season. Gonzalo Inacio out with the flu. Can't play with the flu, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think he can. Yeah, he can't. So, we've got to send him home, unfortunately. But that's uh, such an annoying thing right before a cup final. And unfortunately, another player has gone in Luis Neto for 22k. Obviously, not a lot of money. But, you know, it's enough to just make him go. Do you know what I mean? It's like, doesn't bother me that much. Um, but a few players... Um, not going to be available because I need anything and everything to be here. Um, I feel like I should just go ease expectations going to the game with that mindset. <sighs> I, I, 
uh, we'll do that. I, I guess either way, we're probably going to struggle. But other than that, that's fine. Uh, on to the League Cup final. And as Neto has left, it means you need to promote a no, a, a no a new vice captain. And he recommends Adrian. But I'm going to go with Danny Braganza. And I think because he's been at the club for a while. Uh, I'm pretty sure since he was like, what, like 10. So I think he's the one that embodies the spirit of sporting. Obviously, a very good player. He's been very great this season as well in terms of performances. So I think keep him here. Why not? But yeah, he will be uh, the, uh, the new vice captain. And here is the signing I've been waiting for. And look when it happens just before the game. We are smashing the transfer budget. We've offered him loads of stuff as well. But um, Ricardo Horta, signs of sporting, release clause 25.5 million, but we made enough money to get him in. And I think, you know what? It's an absolute, I think it's a great deal. He's such a good player. 29 years old, you might think, yeah, maybe not. But for me, it's, it's a no-brainer for me. In comes a cod of water. What a time to get him in just before the League Cup final. Obviously, things could go wrong, but uh, he's just, look at him. He's so good. 16 acceleration, 16 dribbling, finishing 15, first touch 15, flair 17, technique 16. He's just an incredible player. Ask Nuno Santos to welcome him and then we'll add him to the squad as well. Man, I'm really happy with this sign in. Like I said, smashing the transfer budget. 25.5 million was his release clause, but um, it's worth it for me. Hopefully he come in, he can play in the League Cup final. He's actually, he actually scored in the League Cup semi-final against Benfica. That's how they got knocked out. Horta actually scored. So it actually could be something that he could score in like, again, against Benfica. But um, man, it's looking good. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, other than that, it is time for the game. So I will tell players uh, to do whatever you want me to tell them. And then where is the main man? of Ricardo Horta. He's still not fully fit, so he probably won't start today, but I think off the bench could be a good option. Um, and there's also a few guys, a uh, friend of Israel. I feel like I should start Israel and then start maybe, where is he? Where did he go? Uh, Gonzalo Estevez instead. Um, I think that could be the way to do it. So if we do like Gonzalo Estevez, then bring on Fresnade later on, could work. Uh, Inacio got the flu, fortunately, so he's out. Nuno Santos is fine, so he can come back in. Hjorman is fine, so he can come back in. Uh, Morita is fine, he can come back in as well. Is there anyone else that they've taken out for no reason? Victor Jokres is fine, he can come back in for Jean Meniz. So, this is what I want. Um, Nuno Santos for Gomez. I want uh, Morita, and I want Hjorman. And I think that's it. I think everyone else who's on the reserves and the subs can be there. But uh, I'm excited for this game. Hopefully we can win. It's a final, obviously a trophy. You love to get trophies. But um, I feel like we've been playing well enough that we could uh, we could take over on this. But obviously Inacio being out is annoying because we've only got Charisma and then Chico Lamba as like the backups. Um, but yeah, other than that, then we get straight into the game. Uh, and hopefully we can win. No, no, Santos, what are you doing, man? What a dumb foul to give away. VL's going to look at it, but he's going to give it. Man, we're going to concede already in four minutes. Unless Arturo Diaz does me a favour. No, he's not going to, is he? I'm um, surprised it's only a, a card, but Nuno Santos is so dumb. It's going to be Tengstedt to take it, I think, number 20. Uh, no, Jean, of course, he's had a little twat. Go, oh, Israel. What a man. Have that, you little rat bastard, Jean Mario. Let's go. Come on. I need to encourage them because it's been an awful start already. No, it sounds getting lucky there. Uh, let's get it out. The Oliete gets it out. Come on. Is it a nice touch? I know he didn't celebrate, but like, come off it. Misses the penalty just to score that. Come on, that is poor defending. St. Just is uh, asleep there, and I think that's Koresmi ducks out of the way. But um, just poor, man. Let's see if we can get back into it. Free kick. He won the ball. He won the ball. How is that a free kick? That is actually a joke, but I guess we could take Estevez off at half time. Uh, man, that is a how is that a free kick? Come on, Gonzalo Estevez. Morita. Finds Correa. Angel Correa shoots. Edwards. 
Marcus Edwards, we get one back. You'd love to see it. Marcus Edwards gets one back for us. One all, playing very well. I could bring Estevez Edwards up half time, he's having a stinker. Um, but man, um, but yes, uh, love to see it. Morita passes it to Correa. Correa takes a shot, blocks in the, the path of Edwards, which is great. And Edwards just shoots. Great, great finish, man. Love to see it. One all against Benfica in the Allianz Cup final. That will be half time. And then we can praise the boys, keep working hard, but we will make some substitutions. And the first one is Mr. Fresneda for Mr. Gonzalo Estevez. And we can also... I don't want to bring on um, Horta on yet, because to be fair, Jokeres, not Jokeres, Jokeres, Edwards and Correa are playing decent enough. Um, I guess there's not really much to bring off. Correa's is on a yellow, which scares me a bit. But Chico Lambert isn't good enough to be back. Is there like a fullback we could play a centre back or like a midfielder? There's not, is there? So I'm going to have to risk it, I suppose. Um, other than that, we'll make the one sub and continue. Let's see if we can get this win. Nuno Santos with the free kick. He shot for some reason. They brought him Rafa as well, which is a good sub to bring on. Uh, but they've got a highlight. Now Samuel Suarez hits it out to Eduardo Cuesma. St. Just. Can Jokers win the header? No, he can't. Di Maria. Tengstedt. There are there's a lot of yellow cards for Benfica. Uh, Bernat. Bar. Di Maria. Di Maria's offside, wasn't he? Uh, he's out of play for a goal kick anyway. Uh, but I think that means at this point, we're going to bring on Free's debut, Ricardo Horta for Angel Correa. Um, it turns out anyone else, Nuno Santos has been having a stinker as well. So I can bring on Sergio Gomez for Nuno Santos as well. Morita is dying out there as well. So maybe it's time to bring on Braganza as well. So I'm going to bring on Braganza too for Morita. Let's see what we can do. Come on, the boys. Ricardo Horta with the delivery. St. Just is there. Unfortunately, can't get there. Danny Braganza. Sergio Gomez. Eduardo Corresma. St. Just. Finds Horta. Ricardo Horta. Still Ricardo Horta. What can he do? Penrith? What? How is that not a penalty? He's come through the back of him, surely. Come on, man. Oh, Paulinho. Edwards. Finds Paulinho again. Hulmond. Okay, well. Surely that was a penalty, man. Six minutes at a time. Oh, no. They've got high as well. Samuel Suarez. Later with the header. Edwards. Paulinho. Runs straight into Olzerns. Otamendi, Ricardo Horta, Danny Braganza, Fresneda, still Fresneda, Fresneda, crosses it in, oh, it was at the back post, if only it was a little bit higher, we went straight to Edwards, but the highlight isn't over as it seems, Samuel Suarez gets the ball out to Di Maria, Deal later with another header, Hulmond, Marcus Edwards with the turn, still Edwards, tries to find Paulinho, but finds Liete, Horta, is, I guess his tackle, Juracek, Jean Mario, Rafa, oh no. Ninety second minute. That is heartbreaking. We've got no other choice than to just send everyone up. Can't believe that's happened there of all places. Ninety second minute, they fell asleep, man. Oh, that is so annoying. I just got to send it. I just got to send it. Um. I can't believe it, man. It's got to be now. Last chance saloon. Diogo Leite. St. Just. Braganza. Finds Fresneda. Can't find Fresneda. Eduardo Quaresma. Come on, Eduardo. What are you Why? Why are you going backwards, St. Just? Put it up there, please. Braganza. Hulmond. Gomez. Sergio Gomez. Come on, Sergio Gomez. Sergio. Ricardo Horta's there. Oh, I can't believe he missed that. How did Horta miss that? Oh my god. I'm not watching this, man. I'm I'm in the dressing room at this point. Um I do think they were they were okay. I should go with that one. 
Okay, that works for me. I do think they played well, but it's just a quick counter-attack goal. Unfortunately, to lose the rivals to Benfica, but without a, without two of our goalkeepers, well, to be fair, our number one goalkeeper and our best centre-back, it's going to be difficult, but is a shame, unfortunately. We received 250k for that, but um, other than that, it's a shame. So here I am, swimming along, and look at the budget we've just been given, 13 million. So, uh, 13 minutes out of nowhere, and to be fair, there has just been a sign. You might have seen it already, but there is a signing that I have made that I've put on hold, and that is this one here. Uh, Romario Barrow as a uh, center midfielder for 4.3 million. So that is going to be our center mid player. Um, still very young, and I think he can still improve. So we're playing him as a Segundo Volante. I think it's probably the best one uh, on support, and I think he could be the one to replace... Uh, Adrian Silva. Um, obviously, he's not the greatest signing, and it's very cheap. But I think stat-wise, he's probably is better than uh, Adrian. Let's take a look comparison with uh, Adrian Silva. So, obviously, Adrian's better defender, but physical. Romario Barrow, speed. Romario Barrow, vision the same. Attacking, fair enough. Technical and aerial, but these will improve with Romario Barrow as he gets older. Still only 24 years of age, so that's fine by me. But a uh, very good player, I think. Will definitely be a decent one to come off bench. Can also play right mid and can play in the play an attacking midfielder role. So uh, for, for 4.9 million, I don't think it's the end of the world. And I have been looking at him since the start of the game. But I think it's just as a depth signing will be good. Uh, but yeah, other than that, that's fine by me. Uh, we still got 10 million or so, or 9 million to spend. Um, so we'll have a look and see what we can do. So it is deadline day. I don't know if any signings, like I've not got anything in mind, but there is a few players and positions that I might look at. But um, these three definitely aren't happening. But um, I'll sort of go through and I'll let you know if anything comes up. And probably the last signing we're going to make today is Thiago Jolo, another centre-back. And I think I'm going to try and loan out Eduardo Quaresma uh, to get him some game time because he is what? He's 21. And I'm not giving him the best game time. He is currently going down in uh, stats all the time. We know he's had a very good season. Uh, try and offer him out and then on a loan. Just give him some game time. And I feel like Tego Jalo will be a better option off the bench currently. Let's take a look at see how good he is. Three star. Uh, so he's already good. He is right footed. But we can play him in the centre of the park, I think. In the ball playing defender role. Uh, so we've got tender centre, ball playing defender. And then it's... Is it stopper? I think it's stopper, isn't it? Is that what that is? Cover. So it's ball playing defender, cover. And that's what Thiago Jalo will play in. But his stats are very good. Acceleration 15, aggression 14, anticipation 14, bravery 13, heading 14, marking 14, tackling 14, technique 14. Just very good in general. And he's still only 23. Miles better than Eduardo Cresma currently. Just a bit worse than Diego Leite, and obviously Demon is coming back. So it'll be sort of the fourth option, fifth option. Obviously, we'll play a three centre backs anyway. Tab two on the bench actually works out better for me. Uh, did inquire about Eric Dyer, and I was so close to saying Diego Carlos from Aston Villa as well, but he went to uh, Corinthians instead, uh, or Flamengo instead, sorry. Um, but yes, other than that, let's just sim, uh, and then I'll do a full chance roundup at the end. And we did manage to learn out of what a question to actually Braga as a squad player. So uh, he probably will be getting the same amount of game time, but probably a bit more because Braga's squad is a bit meh. But uh, Kapal match reports, accept, and also make a parting comment to Kresma. Just best for your development right now, mate. You've been having a good season. He's been very good for us, actually. Got two goals in the league and three in general, and he's been great as a backup. But now we've got a lot of backup centre backs. Demon is coming back from AFCON. It is going to be. Uh, a lot better for us but hopefully it kicks on there i don't know if we're going to get any other loan offers i see one for uh jenny there but uh let's have a look chico lamba probably is going to stay um just for now um so loan offers for jenny again fringe fringe player is not what i want um i would prefer it to be a regular starter squad player i guess we'll have to do but what if we put it to regular start will he they take it, that's fine. I'd rather not pay anything and then just him be a regular starter anyway. Uh, regular starter. Can we get win back left? Impact sub, regular starter. Fine, that works for me. Uh, so, will Jenny be able to leave in that time? I'm not sure. Let's have a look and see if that's the case. So 
So the transfer deadline day did pass. So I think Jenny is staying for the time being, although it's only for Portugal or maybe Spanish clubs a bit earlier. We sold Pedro's office for 60 million, still quite rich. Uh, but let's take a look at the transfers in general. We've got transfer history in 124 million. Of course, that is, uh, can we change it from like January? Um, I guess we can't really. Um, so it will be from here. So Sergio Gomez, let's do it. We'll just do upfront deal. So. 11 million for Sergio Gomez. Then we've got 17 million for the Oliete. We've also got 25 million for Ricardo Horta. 4 million for Romario Barra. And then 10 for Taylor Joy. 67 million spent. And of course, we got rid of quite a few players. 60 million, 20 million, so pretty much 80 million. And then like, so we're still in the, in the green in that part. There was also a few other players that did end up leaving. I was... Where is he? There was another one that just literally left. It must be from the B team, I suppose. Uh, club. Because I did get rid of someone. It was Barroso to give me reins, but I can't see him here. Uh, if you date and do it this way. Uh, maybe I have to go to the B team. So let me go to club. Portugal. I won't even let me go to Sporting B which is a shame, uh, Nation, Portugal, okay, whatever, but we we basically did sell um, another player, uh, Barroso, uh, but yes, he was gone as well for like 600k, so we did get some money in there, and uh, if we take a look, because this is where I'll leave the episode, uh, with, in third, we obviously did lose the Allianz Cup final, uh, we got no doubt the task of the Liga as well, so it's only the Europa League that we still have a chance of winning. The league is pretty much gone by this point. But if you go storm ahead, we need to catch Porto though. That will be the most important thing. Um, got the knockout playoff round on the fifteenth, but uh, we've got a good team now. If we do quick pick and best XI, Andrew, who's still on international duty, but I think should be back on the fifth. He's in the Olympics, so on the fifth, so he probably miss the next game. So it'll be Andrew, St. Just, Diamonde, Inacio, Fresneda, Morita, Hilman, Nuno Santos, Correa, Horta. It will not be Correa, Horta. It will be Correa. It will be, sorry, Horta, Edwards, Jokeres. Uh, and of course, off the bench, Thiago Jalo is apparently unregistered. So let me register him quickly. That's done. And also, Dio Aliete is going to be on the bench as well. Andrew Correa, Paulinho is Gallo. Fatal is obviously not going to be. Sergio Gomez will be. Uh, Romario Barrow will be. Uh, Rui Bargi will be. Francisco Trincao should be, but who for? Okay, maybe Barrow won't be. Where's Braganza as well, man? Um, hmm. I guess it will have to be... Man, I've really not thought this through. We've got a lot of players now. So I guess maybe... For now, it will be Rudy Bargi taking a back seat because Rudy Bargi is only alone. We do have an option, which we probably will commit to in the summer. But uh, obviously, Inacio is in Diamondes still away, so those players will get minutes. But this is like the best XI. Um, but other than that, finances still want nine. We didn't spend it all. We still want a youth intake to come as well. Um, but I think we'll be able to see out another season 100%. Uh, we're going to really have next in the league. I think, no, it's Estrella Adamadora, who are currently in 15th. So it should be an easy enough win. But. Um, other than that, I've been Sam Wasega. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of my transfers. I know they probably weren't the best ones, but I still think in terms of sorry, transfer history in the ins, when I get there, sorry, in the ins, I think Ricardo Horta is a fantastic signing, as is Diogo Liete. Maybe a bit overpaid for both of them, but I still think it's a great signing. Still got guys like Sergio Gomez as well, which is can uh, can pay dividends. Thiago Jalo as well, come off the bench, play very well. Barrow is a bit of a weird one, and Andrew and Mujica as well. But uh, but yes, I still think we are on for a good season. Other than that, I'll be Samuel Sega. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Um, peace.